saving a brush to your brush presets. So this standard brush, I cloned it. So what I'm going to do is go up here to clone this brush. And then I'm going to launch an alpha and a stroke. So in this case, I made that nifty alpha back here, the chain one. And what I did, I went over to stroke and I went into roll and then had roll distance of one by default. Okay. I'm also going to set it to what I think is just about perfect as far as uh, by default out of the box. Here it is. Okay. My next thing is I need to make a preview of that. Okay. Well, I can I can make a preview easy enough. But first, what I need to do is fill the background of this document with something. So I'm going to take the document and fill the background. Okay. And then I'm going to go back up to the gray and just start sculpting on this just a little bit. Okay, so that gives the user what what the thing looks like as far as the sculpting goes. Okay, now I need to make that into an icon, and to do that, all I do is have to use the MRGZB grabber and click and drag out. Try to get it to be a perfect square. Okay. If you don't get it to be a perfect square at first, try try again. So that one's a little bit better. Okay. Then what I need you to do is export this out. So I'm going to export it out and I'm going to export it within my desktop. And this is called RGB Z Grab 6. Just remember that. Okay, so all I do now is layer clear this and go back to my sculpt. And that way I can launch my standard brush. And then I'm going to take that brush and select the icon that I just made on my desktop. Then I'm going to take the brush and save it as. And I'm going to save it underneath the folder ZBrush4, Z Startup brush presets and this time I'm going to call it chain. So let's test that out. Let's go and initialize ZBrush. Yes. Start out with something to sculpt on. And then go in here and find out chain does exist. And if I up the geometry, I now have the same brush I made. Keep in mind symmetry is on because symmetry was turned on at the time I made the brush. All right, enjoy. That is how you save a brush. Uh, I know I have that as a lesson, but way back when, but I'm just revamping it. Just in case those people that are just now watching this series and realizing that this channel exists, they can ca kind of capture up on uh, older lessons. All right, enjoy, and on to the next video.